Holy Spirit, we are so thankful that your word is alive and it's full of power. We truly believe that faith comes by hearing the living word of God. And we're so thankful, my Lord, that your word changes us. It brings transformation in our lives. And Lord, today we acknowledge we choose not to be mere hearers, but we declare we are doers of the word. So my God, we are ready to receive your word imparted into our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Excited to be in the house of the Lord. I came across this video on Instagram, and what I want to share it with you in a moment. It is just a one minute video. But I, I was so blessed by the impact of this one minute video. It is between a father and a son. So basically, uh, you know, uh, this little boy, uh, he was trying to achieve something. But he was having a difficult time. And he wanted to give up. But then the father started encouraging him. And he actually led him to uh, a confession, like uh, speaking words of life over himself. And then it was then that he was able to achieve his goal. So watch this quick video. Almost, Papi. Come on. So, see yourself in your mind making it. Say the following words. I'm powerful. Powerful. I'm fearless. Fearless. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm incredible. Incredible. I'm fast. Fast. I'm strong. I'm strong. I can do it. I can do it. See yourself getting all the way up right now. Visualize it, and as soon as you're ready, you go and you give it 100%. As soon as you're ready, you go. Come on, get it. There you freaking go. Yes. <laughs> it's a short clip, but it's amazing what people can do when you believe in them. And all the father did was just give simple words of encouragement to remind him of what he can accomplish. You know, in life, sometimes we're, the, we're like that little boy. Right? We try to achieve something big and then we maybe fall short. But then our Heavenly Father is right there to encourage us. That's the wonderful thing about the Word of God. It's alive. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. 
、えー、と神の力によって、えー、何でもできるとあります。And Shinji さん、I want you to write this down. Shinji さん、これを書いてください。<笑> And Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. The word of God says, No weapon formed against you will succeed. You, you will silence every voice that rises up against you. And listen, the word of God says, These are the benefits of the servants of the Lord. The Lord will vindicate you. So, what does this word help you with? Number one, you have nothing to fear. You don't have to lose sleep about anything. Because God says this is your inheritance. And if you look at the latter part of this verse, it says, I, the Lord, have spoken. Amen. You receive that? Amen. Amen. Hey, God is good. Remember that? God is good. And all the time. And to. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> well, turn with me to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. And it says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Now, this is such a powerful promise from the Bible. Number one, God says you're going to be a powerful voice of influence to the world. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You know, Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Behold, I have given you authority to trample upon every serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. ヘビやサソリを踏みつけ、敵のあらゆる力に打ち勝つ権威を、えー、権威を授けました。ですから、あなた方に害を与えるものは何一つありませんと言葉にあります。How many of you believe in Jesus? えー、Listen, they will cast out evil spirits, and when they lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. そそ so, according to this scripture, you have been destined to make a difference for the glory of God. Come on, turn to somebody and say, You have been called to make a difference. Amen. Now, this is kind of like that father encouraging that little boy. God is encouraging you. Now, how can we make a difference by sharing the hope of the gospel with others? Number one, 
Listen to this in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 11. It reads, Rescue the perishing. Don't hesitate to step in and help. If you say, hey, that's none of my business, will that get you off the hook? Someone is watching you closely, you know. Someone not impressed with weak excuses. Now I want us to declare this together. It's going to go up on the screen. No more excuses. I was born to make a difference. Ready? One, two, three. No more excuses. I was born to make a difference. Amen. So we are to rescue the perishing. Who are the perishing? Those that are broken and rejected. Those that have been abused and are lonely. Those that are hopeless. And those that are your neighbors. We are all on a rescue mission for souls. Listen, it's not about just doing nice things for others. Because that alone won't save their soul. You must share the gospel. That's the only way salvation comes into a person's life. Now let's take a look at uh, some disciples who undoubtedly made a difference in their time and in their generation. One characteristic that we find in the book of Acts 2 church is their undeniable commitment to prayer and fearlessness in sharing the word. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, it reads like this. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues of the fire, and one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So here it's, it all started in the upper room. What they did there through prayer, it gave birth to a tremendous harvest of souls. And it brought about powerful manifestations of God's demonstrative, demonstrative power to heal and deliver. Now notice, they were all with one accord. I want everybody to say this together. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can make a difference. 
私たちは、ポイントを起こせるということです。えー、学校には一緒に私たちは、違いを生むことができます。Imagine your family and close friends and neighbors coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Imagine them coming to this place of worship together with you. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. You know, we just concluded our prayer week. It's important that we participate in these kind of gatherings. Because everything begins with prayer. Now, I want you to take note according to the scripture that we just read, suddenly the power of God was poured out upon the church. And in the moment, they went from having a few members to reaching over 3,000 souls. And the Bible says, in that moment of time, God began to add to the church every single day. Let's take a look at how the early disciples prayed in Acts chapter 4. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. 4章の29から31主よ今彼らの脅かしをご覧になってしもべたちにあなたの御言葉を大胆に語らせてくださいまた見手を伸ばしあなたの聖なるしもべイエスの名によって癒しと印と不思議を行わせてください彼らが祈り終,わる終えると集まっていった場所が、えー、揺れ動き一同は精霊に満たされ神の言葉を大胆に語り出した Now, I want you to take careful notice of how the disciples responded to persecution.、えー、Because these disciples lived in a time where when you brought up the name of Jesus, you would be persecuted. この弟子たちが生きているこの時代ですね、イエス様の名前を言っただけで迫害がありました。But notice, they didn't ask for less persecution. でも彼らは迫害に遭わないように、もうちょっとなんか柔らかくなるようにということは祈りではありません。They asked God for greater boldness. 彼らが祈りで願ったのは、もっと大胆になれるようにです。That's how the spirit of faith responds to challenges. Because fear will respond, God, please let this go away. Please. But the spirit of faith does not back down. Lord, give me wisdom and the courage to confront this challenge.、Yeah. Remember, God only hears prayers of faith. He doesn't hear prayers of worry and fear. So, when you're facing difficulties and challenges, let the spirit of faith rise up from within. 
Remember, the disciples, when the heavy storms were coming against the boat, they went to Jesus, Lord, don't you care that we're about to die? But how did Jesus respond? He, he went out to the boat and he said, Peace, be still! And then he turned to his disciples, he said, Where is your faith? So God is asking you, where is your faith? When God looks at your faith, there ought to be a blazing fire. Amen? Amen. Now when it comes to sharing your faith, boldness is exactly what you need. Now the scripture tells us in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 that he who wins souls is wise. Did you know that you can bring up Jesus in any conversation? You just have to discern the open door when the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. This is something that I've become very good at. And you can be too. Because Jesus lives in you. It's wonderful to do nice things for people, but their soul will not get saved until you share Jesus. For instance, you can be talking about anything, groceries, movies, uh, cars, whatever. Uh, Matthew, come up here real quick. I'm just going to use Brother Matthew as an example. So let's say me and Matthew are hanging out. And we're talking about his job. And he's telling me how wonderful it's been. Then I asked him about his family. And he's sharing me the wonderful things that's happening in his family. I don't know, come up with a topic, Miho-san. So they come up with, what are we talking about, me and Matthew? Give me an example. Matthew and I are talking about what are we talking about, me and Matthew? God's glory through work. Okay, well, I haven't shared with him the gospel yet, but... Let's say Traveling, okay, it could be traveling. So anywhere in our conversation, I can ask this question. Hey, hey Matthew, man, um, I know it's kind of off topic, but you know, I was just impressed in my heart to ask you this question. So you can say two things. Number one, <laughs> Has anybody ever shared with you how much God loves you? Number two, you can ask this question. Number two, have you ever experienced the joy of personally knowing Jesus Christ? Now, those two questions do one thing. You can ask one or the other. 
But the moment I bring up God and the name of Jesus in a conversation, the presence of God comes right there. そしてあの私自分が、えー、この神様のことを話し始めるとき、もうそこに神様のご臨在が現れる。And then the Holy Spirit gives me a window. そして聖霊様がこのように。窓を開けてくださって、えー、マテウと、えー、福音をシェアすること。I'm going to have a hand clap for Brother Matthew. <laughs> Thank you. But this, this is where faith comes in. You know, one of the most maybe intimidating moments in me sharing the gospel was with my dad. Because I didn't grow up with my dad, I grew up with my mom. Because they had separated early on. Sharing with strangers, no problem. But this was my dad. I was up all night praying. Lord, give me courage to share with my dad. And then I, 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 I approached him and said, Dad, you know, can I share something from my heart? And you know, we sat down and then I began to share with him my testimony. そして私の証をシェアし始めました。And he accepted Jesus Christ into his heart. そしてその時、心にイエス様をお父様は受け入れました。And I remember, you know, when he received Jesus genuinely from his heart, we hugged for a long time. 本当に心からイエス様を受け入れた時、本当に長いハグでした。And the Lord said to me, all the years that the enemy stole from you regarding your relationship with your father, I restore right this very moment. そしてイエス様は、神様は言いました。この長い間、えー、敵,敵が盗んだあなたとイエス様、えー父親の間の長い時間、今ここであなたに回復すると考えました。It, it もうこの時って本当にもう何よりも価値があるこの、えーえー、証しをした時でした。そして今お父さん、父親ともういい関係です。<笑>そして父親からスピリチュアルな霊的なアドバイス、カウンセリングを。But you know what I love, the, uh, 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 I love about that is I am at peace knowing that when my dad crosses over to eternity, his home is heaven. I am at peace because I share Jesus Christ with my entire family. 私は部屋があるのはもう家族の全員に神のことを,ことをもうシェアして終わりました。So my question is, are you a make a difference disciple of Christ? なので私のクエスチョンはあなたはあなたは変化をもたらすキリストの弟子ですか ?I believe that you are. Understand, every time you speak the holy name of Jesus, God's presence comes. I close out with this scripture, and it's Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, the Passion Translation, and it reads And don't allow yourselves to be weary in planting good seeds. For the season of reaping, the wonderful harvest you planted is coming. So, s t a o i t a n e o m a k o t o e k u r e i m a e t o Passion Translation, and then they made it in the Shinka Yakuno, and so you took us to Yakushimasto. So, s t a o i t a n e o m a k o t o e s k a r i n a y o n i s h m a s h o あなたが植えた素晴らしい収穫を刈り取る季節が、えー、やってくるからです
Listen, do not quit at the border of your breakthrough. Don't get discouraged or give up. Maybe you've been believing God for the salvation of your spouse or family member. Maybe you've been believing God to reach your family and your friends. But continue to speak to the mountain, whatever obstacle it is, to be removed. Remind me of a story uh, during the gold rush. There was a man who had been mine, mining in the mountains of Colorado. He had invested everything that he had and he had been mining for gold for several months. But after several months, he quit his job and he sold all of his mining equipment because he didn't find any gold. And so the man that he sold his equipment to picked up where he had left off. And the new miner was advised by his engineer that he was only three feet away from gold. Right? And so the new miner discovered the engineer was correct. He had struck gold. So the truth was the old miner was only three feet away from discovering gold, but he had quit too early. That's why the word of God reminds us do not grow weary in well doing, for your due season is coming for breakthrough. So I want you guys to do something. I want you to think about three people that God has placed upon your heart to reach for our Easter service. You have all been called to make a difference in their lives. And it begins by the strategy that we call prayer of three. Praying for these three people every day until Easter service. Prayer of three. これ、これが本当に効果的なので、イースターサービスまでイースターレハイまで必ず一人一人皆さん3人の人を名前を挙げてそれをお祈りするその方たちのためにお祈りください。Now, uh, how many of you eat at least 3 meals a day? 皆さん1日3回食事しますかね? How many of you eat more than 3 times a day? 3回以上の方もいますか? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 
Okay? So, every time you eat a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, take a moment to pray for these people. It could be as simple as, Father, I lift up to you this person, this person, this person. I apply the blood of Jesus. I thank you that they will be open to my invitation to come to our Easter service or and you ask the Lord, Lord, give me the wisdom, give me the courage to share Jesus Christ with them. Then you thank the Lord for the food. そして神様にその時に食事のことをもう開始しますよね。ご一緒。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタタキマス。イタ